So back to sandblasting. Um, after my uh, experience with trying to sandblast the pot and seeing what a big mess that made, I decided, well, I need to get a sandblasting cabinet. And then I thought about it, uh, you know, the thing's huge, I gotta put it somewhere, it's gonna be a big hassle. Um, it's worth it if I'm gonna do some sandblasting stuff, and there's some other stuff I could sandblast, and I could have used a sandblaster in the past versus wire wheels, so you know, there's that whole argument. Uh, it's like 230 bucks. It's probably gonna cost me 240 250 to get it at Harbor Freight, and it needs about $100 worth of upgrades to make it work right. So, you know, it'll be like 325 350 if I go get it. Then I gotta find a place to put it. And, uh, so the issue is that I have three different products from Cerakote, right? One's for the piston heads and, and combustion chamber. One's for the piston skirts. Well, you know, I don't really need a cabinet to do those. It'd be nice to have. It'd be a lot less mess. And I wouldn't be wasting my sandblast media. But push comes to shove. I can do those without a cabinet if I'm only doing one engine. But then the third product, the uh, high thermal emissivity product that may help uh, sink the heat out of the engine, which is the entire test I'm doing now. If I'm going to do that, it's going to have to be a cabinet because the the sump cover, the engine block, the cylinder heads have all got to be done. They got to be done right. It's going to be a lot of media. It's going to have to be recycled. It's going to take a cabinet to do it. But uh, we don't even know if the stuff works or does what we expect it to do. That means I really got to finish up the pot experiment first. So uh, it doesn't make sense to go get the cabinet in order to justify you know, uh, that experience, that, that product, because if the product doesn't work, then why am I going to spray it in the first place? And then I won't sandblast the sump cover blockhead and all that kind of stuff. So I guess what I'm going to do, I almost went tonight and got this thing. And I said, I'll wait till tomorrow because I should always wait 24 hours before I buy something. And I thought about it some more. I said, well, I guess what I'm going to do since I got about 50% of the pot done. I, and that wasted about maybe six ounces of media. But made a big mess and uh so i guess i'll just go waste six more ounces of media and try to finish the pot up and uh get past that messy mess there and uh then we can gather the data on how long it takes the water to boil down and then i'll go ahead and spray it with the high thermal emissivity product bake it and then we'll test it again and then based on those results, we'll decide if we're even going to use the product. If we're not going to use the product, I don't need this stupid thing here. This thing evidently is a huge project to put together and to modify and get it right. And uh, it would be just another thing I don't need to be doing unless I need to do it. So, there you go. I guess tomorrow I'm going to go out and try and sandblast this thing one more time. But i got to find some goggles, man, because I know that dust was getting slightly in my eyes when I stopped. I was like, that's why I stopped. I said, oh, I don't want this crap in my eyes. All right, there you go.